Thank you. Thank you, Mark. <clears throat> Let me say uh, thank you for the hard work in our investigation over the last year. Thank you for your service to our country in the United States Army. Um, you know, I served um, as the Deputy Attorney General for Criminal Justice, the Federal Prosecutor, Counterterrorism, Chief of Counterterrorism and National Security, State of Texas. I've never seen this board more out of control. I was the chairman of the Homeland Security Committee. I've never seen it like this. Why? Because on day one, Secretary Mayorkas made the decision to reverse the very policies that were working, migrant protection protocol, and remain in Mexico. You know, don't take it from me, Border Patrol, the head of the Border Patrol, Mr. Ortiz, said it had a direct cause and effect as to what was happening prior and after. And the movie we've seen since then has become a nightmare. And those of us from Texas know that, and we see it. But it impacts every state in the country now. When you have millions of people coming in illegally, it's a human trafficking, drug trafficking enterprise that they have built now, a criminal enterprise in the United States of America, threatening Americans on the street. Let me tell you what I think the most egregious violation was this, as we studied this case. Under 8 U.S.C. 1228 of the Immigration Nationality Act, it says the government shall take into custody any alien that has committed an aggravated felony. So what does that mean? Well, the definition of aggravated felony is murderers, rapists, pedophiles, and drug traffickers. And for the lawyers here, we know shall is mandatory. It's not may or do what you feel like. It is shall detain. What does Mayorkas do September 2021? 20, in a memo, the guidance for law enforcement of immigration law to his Border Patrol agents, he says... Don't pay attention to that, that law. Whether a non-citizen poses a current threat to public safety is not to be determined according to bright lines or categories, he says. Our personnel should not rely on the fact of conviction or just a database search alone. He violated the law. He violated the intent of Congress. He violated the American people. He has caused injuries, the Founding Fathers talked about, to our society by fentanyl. My children have been to too many funerals. When we're going upwards of 300,000 people now dead in the United States, more than World War II and Vietnam combined because of this one man. You know, people ask me, why are you guys doing this? You know, the Senate, they're just going to... They're going to toss it out. Well, we have a name for the House of Representatives, and it's called the People's House because we are the voice of the people. And when I go home and across this country, the voice of the people is very clear. Secure the border and impeach this man, this criminal. It's very, very clear. We did our job in the House, and I pray that... Senator Schumer will do his job in the Senate as he is required to do under the Constitution. I want to close with this. Justice Story, very uh, well-respected uh, Supreme Court Justice in 1833, when they're talking about impeachment, says, where a Lord Admiral has neglected to safeguard the seas, that shall be deemed an impeachable offense. Well, I would say Secretary Mayorkas has neglected to safeguard not only the seas, but the air, land, and the seas to the great detriment of the United States of America. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to my colleague, uh, Mr. Klein. 